Hi everyone, this is Tom from Creator Cards. In today's video, I'll be walking you through how to create a stunning digital invitation using Canva and our new app, Creator Cards. Whether you're planning a wedding, birthday, or any event, this tool makes it simple and efficient. Let's dive right in. First, head over to Canva and open your editor to your invitation design. I am using a video invitation template because yes, Create eCards supports everything in your Canva design, including animations, video, music, and any number of pages you wish to add to your design. You can even choose to display your design as a slideshow or video. Now, with your chosen template, you can customize it as you normally do with any Canva design. You'll want to modify details like the event name, date, location, and more. Just make it so that everything reflects your event's theme. Next, let's find the Creator Cards app. On the left-hand side of the Canva interface, click on Apps and search for Creator Cards. Once you find it, click on the app icon. Within the app, it's easy to start. You can begin by syncing your design with Create eCards by clicking Create New. You'll see a variety of e-invite examples on your screen. Next, click Sync Design. This will prepare your design for export to create eCards. Double check the size and quality, then hit Export. Once syncing is complete, your design will officially be a draft digital invite. You can style your e-invite, customize the color, backgrounds and shadows by clicking Style e-invite. You will see options for background, banner and content. You will be able to change the background to any color you want using the color swatch. If you prefer to add a background image instead of having a color background, you can click Choose File and pick a file to upload. Please ensure this file size is as small as possible, as it may affect how quickly your e-invite page loads. Next, let's move to the banner. In the Banner tab, you can set the button and banner color. Just click the color swatch and choose your preferred color. You can also adjust the banner shadow style to flat, soft or hard. You can customize the text that will be displayed in your e-invites banner. If you want to add a banner logo instead of having text, just click Choose File, and then you will be able to select a logo image of your own to upload. Now let's move to the content. In the Content tab, you will see options for text color and shadow color. Here you can also adjust various styling properties including shadows, edge styles such as square, curved or rounded. You can apply these settings to various elements including your invitation design and any buttons on your e-invitation. Once you are done, just click Preview Changes. You will be able to preview your updates to your e-invite styling in the preview mockup. If you are satisfied with the look of your design, click Looks Good Continue. To make your invitation even more dynamic, you can ensure your designs, music, videos, animations and multiple page creations become live within your e-invite. For this, you can embed your Canva design into your Create eCards e-invite. To do this, first toggle the option to on. You will then need to follow the instructions listed below. Let's go through the steps. In the upper right hand corner of Canva's editor, click on Share. Search for Embed. Click on Embed and follow the steps to make your embed live. Copy the HTML embed code. This is the one listed at the top, as shown here. Now come back over to the left-hand panel and paste your design's embed code. Note that later in the Creative Cards website, you will be able to choose if your design will be displayed as a video or a slideshow. On the next step, you'll see your RSVP QR code. Here, you can adjust its background color, foreground color, and opacity to match your design. By adding this QR code to your design, any guests viewing a printed version of your design will be able to RSVP online. You can set the color of your RSVP QR code and make its background transparent. With this, you will be able to add it harmoniously to your design so that it fits your design's theme and colors. Once everything looks perfect, click Save and Continue to Create a Cards. This will take you to the Create eCards website. 
If you don't have an account yet, sign up. It's free. All invites start with 25 responses per event under our current free plan, which is ideal for small gatherings. All features we have are available while your invitation is create free. You can upgrade any time, even after collecting many RSVPs. That is because we only charge to reveal the full details of your RSVPing guests for larger events. You'll arrive at this page. So, what type of e-card are you creating? On this page, you can choose invitation, greeting, gift e-card, or digital poster. As you can see, we support various other e-card types beyond digital invitations. However, this tutorial is about invites, so click on invitation. Let's write the events details such as country, time zone, event type, start date, and even the end time if you wish. If you want your guests to be able to access add to calendar links, you need to upgrade your invite to create pro. You can also add location details, whether it's in person or online. You can enter an app name and event link if it's online, and if it's in person, you can add the address. You can enter everything here. You can even add a Google Maps link by copy pasting it here. If you want to check your map link, just click this link and it will bring you to the location in Google Maps. On this page, you will be able to see a section for adding any gift registries you may have set up in Amazon or other retailers. You can turn this button on or off if you want your guests to bring gifts. You can add a general name for your gift registry and paste in your registry URL. If you don't have a registry, you can turn the gifting option off. If you are curious about setting up an Amazon registry, you can click the Create Your Gift List Available on Amazon button. Here, you can set a limit on the plus ones your guests can bring. You can allow or, or prevent plus ones using the toggle Multiple Guests Per Invite. If you do permit multiple guests, you can set the max guests per group. There are some other key options here such as collecting dietary preferences and marking your event as child-free. Use this if you are only wanting adults to attend your event. Let's move on to Customize. You can add meal options so your guests can choose their preferred meal. You can add descriptions or additional information about your event here that will appear on your invitation. If you are not sure what to write, you can activate and use our helpful AI event scribe feature. This will help you craft engaging event information. Click next at the bottom right. For styling, you'll first be able to choose the design theme. You can also set the banner text, e.g. You are invited. You can then choose the theme color, shadow color, text color, and wallpaper color. You can also change other elements like edge styles, shadow style and other styling properties of your invitation. You can upload your own logo and you can replace your color background with a wallpaper from your own images. If you prefer, you can also choose a stock wallpaper photo from Pexels. Click next at the bottom right. Paste the URL into the search bar. After pasting it, you'll be taken to your e-invitation, which is now a live web page. Here you can experience your e-invitation, just like your guests will. On the top right hand side, there is a language button. This feature allows guests to change the language of the invitation if they don't understand the default language. There are more than 20 languages available to choose from. Once a language is selected, the invitation will refresh and the language will update accordingly. On the left hand side, you'll see three lines that allow you to navigate to various sections of the page, such as invitation, RSVP, and other details. Clicking any of these options will immediately take you to the corresponding section. You can also simply scroll down your invitation page to access the various sections. The RSVP button is always available and prominent, making it easy for your guests to click and register their RSVP to your event. This digital invitation process is very easy, quick, and reliable. Here's how the final result looks on a phone. You can share your invite as a link via WhatsApp, email, Messenger, or any other chat app. 
If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and follow us on our other social media platforms. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.